this chapter here is um, um, it's a case study about uh, lung cancer in Ohio. And uh, it, it turns out to be very interesting and straightforward because we now- Just to be clear, I live in Ohio. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Okay. So okay, I, I'm very like I'm following that with very with another interest, I will say. Okay, so basically, uh, what we are going to do is understanding a bit more about risk of lung cancer in Ohio from 68, 1968 to 1988, and obviously we use our in package. So first thing we do is to calculate the expected disease count using indirect standardization and standardized incidence radio, the, the CIS uh, uh, radios. Then we learn how to fit a Bayesian spatial temporal model to obtain disease risk estimates for each of the Ohio counties and the years of study. And then finally, we learn how to create a static and uh, interactive map. So we do both versions. Uh, it, that this is a quite interesting thing to, to keep in mind for, for the future. And then uh, uh, we use time plots uh, of the seals and this is risk estimates. So I, I like this chapter. So uh, basically the first thing you need is this spatial AP app package. Uh, and this is, uh, has been developed by the, the, the author, Moraga. And uh, you can install it from uh, GitHub, uh, for example. Uh, I had an, any issue, uh, so late, so all good. And uh, it provides with some data. Uh, as you can see, this, uh, this data, D, uh, data Ohio. And you find, uh, okay, in this, uh, in this first uh, data set, we, we have the count, the county by number, the gender, uh, the race, the year, uh, these are the counts. So the number of cases, uh, the, the number of times each uh, case is repeated within the county uh, and the name of the county. Okay. So this is the frequency. This is the number of cases in the in the year. Uh, yeah. Let's go forward. And we, what we need are uh, it's uh, um, RGDA and simple feature packages for making the the map. And the same special app, because this is an app which is very interesting, you know. Have you seen about this app? Okay, we'll, we, if we have a couple of minutes, uh, we, um, we go to the app. So this is, uh, again, you find some uh, uh, shapes files for the Ohio, and you need this function, read OGR from uh, RGDAL. Uh, and then you can plot the map. And so you see Ohio uh, County. And... Okay, so now we, we um, plot the, the radios, the Sears radios. And to do this, uh, basically we use our uh, D uh, data set, which is, uh, uh oh oh um i jumped into my r because i think i've excluded some uh okay so this is the thing yes okay what's happened here is that i use uh tidyverse okay what we we do here is that grouping by county name and the year and then summarize by the number of cases okay so we have uh, uh, this um, arranged by year. And I, as you can see, for, for each year, we have uh, the, the number of cases by county. 
uh, we call this new data set uh, D, uh, and this is what we need uh, as long as with the expected values to uh, um, make the special modeling, special model. So then what we do is to calculate the expected cases so using the expected function from special every package. So we need now the special every package. Uh, we have seen about this function last time. So the, L, the options, so the, the uh, data that you need for making this function running is uh, the population where you are going to calculate the expected value, the, the cases, uh, and uh, there is another option, which is the stratification. In this case, the stratification is done by races. There's two, two races and by gender, two gender. So the, the stratification is by four. Okay, so basically the population is considered stratified by four because there, there are four subgroups uh, within two races and two uh, genders. Okay, so um, the, this function requires data to be ordered. So it's important to arrange these things by county, year, gender, and race. So basically, first thing, uh, uh, county and year. And then the other elements you are going to use for calculating the expected value. So this is the population. Uh, and this is the, these are the cases. Okay. So this new, uh, okay, this is the, this new, um, uh, vector, okay, it's a vector of expected values. And we now are going to merge this, this vector with uh, the, the number of cases, so then we can use it to make it to use in the model. Uh, what we do now is consider the number of years. So the length of the vector of the number of years. Apologies for my dog. No worries, uh, Federica. So uh, he's doing his job. Uh, on the side note, like while you are like managing the dog, apparently like you just swap to a tidy approach instead of just fooling like the full um, because yeah. like the book should follow more like the base R approach to um, exactly. to wrangle all the data and then like you you upgrade the tidy approach. So I think it's cool. So yeah. you, you we see yeah, both. Yeah. Uh, At least you you got less uh, less uh, line of code. But yeah, 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 it's it's different. Uh, the arrange is way less. I feel like instead yeah, of yeah. the order was like uh, yeah. I think it's also more intelligible. Exactly. So basically what, what it does, uh, it's the um, merging uh, this um, uh, E, uh, the expected values that, uh, vector with um, the counties and the years. They all unique. So the number of counties and the number of years. But as you can see, this is the result, okay? Then you can do this way with base R, or you can do it with Tadivert, it's uh, exactly the same. So you, you then have, uh, mm, basically you can even just merge this uh, expected value or uh, inner join, uh, basically with, um, uh, with, with this other one. So you have this uh, county, year, and expected value. So now we merge this with uh, the, the, the first, uh, so, so the D, uh, which are the, the number of cases. Uh, and as you can see, we have this Y vector as well. And this is our new data set, okay? So now what, what we need are the radios, the C radios. And 
they are quite straightforward to calculate because it's like um, a radio of the cases on the expected cases. So we literally do uh, a division uh, of these things. And as you can see, this is the result. We have a put a column uh, with, with the radius. And then uh, we now do a little trick. Okay, so basically what we do, we, we have this, uh, this data set, okay? Uh, if, if we do pivot wider uh, and take uh, the names from the year, and then the values from all the other um, vectors, uh, you obtain something like that. So year uh, cases, year, if all the years and cases, and then it starts doing the expected and year, and then the year and for each year. So this is uh, um, this is useful to be used with the uh, um, spatial data. So this is our map. It's the thing that we have loaded before from here. Okay, this is the map uh, of Ohio. What is inside is this. It's a sp spatial polygon data frame. Uh, you see, you have the name of the counties, uh, the other, other information like the feeds, uh, uh, other names, and then latitude and longitude, and etc. So now I already done it, as you can see, it's already merged with the, uh, all the other things. Uh, and this is what uh, is going to happen. Uh, oh, now I just run everything. What is going to happen is that uh, you can go to the next chunk. Uh, maybe on the, you know, like chunk two, go to chunk three, maybe it would work. Like on the markdown. Yeah, no, no, on bit bottom, like, like. Go down, 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 down. Yeah, ah, okay, yeah, maybe okay. let, let's you go to change three. Yeah, yeah, great. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, so maybe no, it wasn't like this one, but like you can like navigate like that way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So basically, we to obtain the thing that we have just seen, um, what we do is to merge the map with the data by name and county so basically then you have uh, uh, this uh, outcome so this is map because this map uh, it's a nice um, uh, object and if you do like the uh, at sign you find that inside you have different things if you do data you have all your the, the data. Uh, otherwise, you have polygons, uh, etc. Otherwise, you have even the box. Okay, for the data. Uh, here is it's just to select uh, a couple of rows and to show you what's happened and what's inside, and then we merge uh, this with our data, and uh, this is the result as well as before. It's exactly the same. So now what we need is to transform this, uh, this um, uh, special polygon data frame into a simple feature. And to do this, we do, um, uh, uh, so ST as SF, okay? So uh, special uh, to simple feature. Yes, we do a transformation and we have this, uh, uh, which is a simple feature collection of a certain number of features and 74 fields. Uh, you have the box here. Uh, other information is the, C, uh, the CRS um, and um, the coordinate reference system, which is now this NAD83, so not regular. Uh, this is not W84, 
this is not uh, yeah yeah th this is the american grid i think if i'm correct i will check but uh... yeah so basically this is uh, the, the the outcome and now we have a simple feature so we can use it with ggplot and geomsf and as you can see you have all the other elements and we can jump on the next uh, chunk and it's uh, uh, you have the geometry as well uh, etc so uh, now what we do is to gather this simple feature map by here here and uh, uh, we mention that the the column starts by we have this underscore element uh, as you can see here each element has an underscore element so uh, we advise that there is this thing so we can uh, gather basically um, it's almost exactly the same thing that you can do okay uh, and then uh, um, for, for each year okay we take this each year as, a, as an integer and we we take the substring of this so um, now okay uh let's forget we, we need to something happen Okay, we, we have this map and then, okay, so all done now. So what is the transformation? Is that we now have just the years, okay? Instead of having uh, the seer underscore and the year. And then we do our first map for by year. So we can see how the things change. How, how do we do this map? Basically, we, do, um, we use ggplot. And then, uh, as we have a simple feature, we can just use geomsf. We don't need to specify that there is a geometry, nothing, because it's a type simple feature. Okay. If we use like special polygon data frames or something like that, so we need to specify because it's still a simple feature, but we need to specify the geometry. So where, where he, he doesn't know where the geometry is, is actually. So uh, in this case, you don't need it. Then we did um, the, the a facet by year. Uh, and uh, as you can see how this changes is that within the year, these cases appear to be increasing. So since the 1968 to the 1988, the number of cases like get increasing um, within the year, especially in the South. While this corner here on the north uh, west uh, is still like uh, a bit um, co uh, consistent with few just a few cases. Uh, maybe in the 1981, there's some some number here appearing, but then you know, uh, and even in the 97. But the rest of the county, uh, so in, in the rest of this, the, the, they, they increase almost everywhere uh, and mostly in the, within the south. Okay, so uh, now, now we'd like to use uh, some, some extra features to, to have an idea of what's happening. There is something in the chat. Oh. 
Is there something? Um, um, what, what are you searching? I'm saying that, okay. So oh. now I can see. Ah, stands for North America, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, just, okay. yeah, yeah, I was just, just mentioning like what was the uh, NAD um, 83 with link. It's a datum. Okay, so basically now we do another plot, but with lines. And uh, this can be uh, like a bit difficult to read. So you might, uh, because put like the, the legend of, because otherwise like the lens takes half of the plot. So you might need to, uh, for now, avoid specifying which are the countries, but then find another way to uh, highlight the things that you might want to, to show. Uh, and there is this uh, nice package, which is the GG Highlight, uh, the, which provides this function, GG Highlight, and where you can specify the county. In this case, it's the county because uh, uh, as you can see, you color it, uh, geom line, you did color by county and group it by county. So it's, it's going to search for the group. And uh, you can specify, for example, this case, uh, this, uh, this specific county inside the book. Yeah. Just for me, Frederick, can you try Lauren? L-O-R-I-E-N. I write it in the chat if you want, but L, uh, majuscule probably. Uh, with the um, yeah, like that. See if oh, it's uh, where are they? How how? Yeah, yeah that? I like that. Just resend it maybe. No, I can't resend. They can't find it. Or oh, maybe I spell it. Cur no, it's spelled it like that way. Let me check in the. We need to find the Lauren County. This is spelled like that, I'm sure of it, but maybe in the data set, uh, uh, okay, it's spelled differently. Uh, let me check. We can even see the, the number of counties, uh, yeah. so the, the name of the counties and see uh, within, yeah. uh, which one is the, what, what yeah. is If you can just like plot the, the name of the county. Yeah. It's probably like D O I O. Audi, yeah. Lauren with a, oh. Lauren, yeah, that correct. Is. No, so what do we miss? Maybe we have to reload um, the G, the the G, the, the, the Google plot, the G. Maybe you have to reload the G. Why? The G, maybe, maybe, maybe the G need to be like reloaded. And, and then, uh, oh. Yeah, you're right. This is it. Because you added the plus, so it's update the object, I think. Oh, no. Just here, not found. Let's reload ggplot. Okay. Then reload the. There's something wrong, eh? Something wrong. Yeah, let's see that. Oh, it's long. Oh, yeah, you have a lot of data in a lot of columns. Well, anyway, so yeah, 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 I will check by myself. Thanks. Oh, okay. okay. Maybe, maybe I had to do that again. No, it's something doesn't Still like not, um, maybe line 124. Yeah. What, what did you say? Oh, for me, sorry, I couldn't hear you. I think line 124 still at the top. I think, come, yes, yes, 124. I went. 
Oh yeah, we haven't parsed it. You're right. Oh no, we changed. I think you have to reload the map. Yes, then uh, redo that. Then we do, yeah. Finger cross. Why the, uh, I just- Because we changed the map object, I think. Uh -huh. Maybe, uh, maybe I'm wrong, but the map SF object changed. Maybe I didn't run two things. So you have to run all of them, but I mean, not all of them, but like. Yeah, maybe, maybe I didn't, I didn't run because, I, um, yeah, yeah, this one here. Okay. So, so this is. You run the map also. Well, we'll see. G, let's see. G works. So okay. no, G ally should work. Oh, this is not needed, but yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, okay. Uh, it's increasing, but. <laughs> yeah, this was in uh, the, the, the last update is for, for this day uh, for 1988. So, you... so yeah, I'm safe now. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully the, the, the trend is not, uh, is not like, increasing. Okay. So then you can use uh, to be more specific, gg uh, plotly, uh, gg plotly. So then you can like int, uh, have an yeah. interaction with your uh, data and see uh, a specific uh, information. What is the information? Then, then you can select the thing. This is interesting. It's a nice package. Okay. So now that we have an idea of what's happened, et cetera, we, we attempt to model and see, okay. They use this uh, Bernardinelli model with the inlet package uh, to calculate the relative risk of lung cancer for each Ohio County and year. So this is this, um, um, Still a poisson. Still a with the oh, wow. um, uh, the pa parameter, the expected values, and the theta. Uh, we have uh, a transformation done for the theta uh, with a log transformation. So we already talked about those things. Yeah. So it is a composition of elements uh, uh, to take consideration of the um, uh, co uh, correlation, um, the autocorrelation, and uh, uh, other elements uh, um, like the weights uh, and that interact with, with the, within your data. These are the betas that are a little adjusted with the delta because of autocorrelation. And then, so you have the spatial elements um, here. So you use the library INLA and the SP depth packages. First thing that you do, you calculate the neighborhoods. We did it last time with this poly to neighbor function on, on the map data set, uh, this, uh, our simple feature that we just made. So we have the, the numbers for the neighbors for each county. And then, uh, so just to, to uh, remind ourselves about those things, uh, we have this, uh, um, we, we just use this function. Uh, this is to construct the neighbors list from polygon list. While then we use this other on uh, the neighbor that we just constructed. Uh, and this does uh, uh, let us to separate the output of the special neighbors for INLA. So this way we need to specify uh, uh, where, where this should go, because now I have a new, a new file here, this map adjustments, as you can see, 
this file yeah. here and it is created by this function so i do neighbor to inla uh, on the neighbors uh, object. object and so i have this new uh this new file with all the numbers and then i use this other function inla uh, read graph which is uh, uh, what does is to read and write a graph object so we can construct a graph object from uh, this this file this map uh, a dj um, there's some information about this uh, this function but i think the the and even even some some like examples so but the best thing is to run this thing and then uh, i'm not sure if i run okay i see g uh, again uh, it's an object that contains uh, uh, a few things like the the, the numbers uh, the, the population uh, the numbers uh, of neighbors uh, and uh, are, uh, th these are different objects okay so these are lists and these are uh, vectors um Um, what else uh, we do is to uh, within our uh, data frame, okay, uh, create a new uh, vector, two new new vector, uh, ID area and ID area one. So the first is basically uh, to specify the county and, and then to assign this area. To the, to the data set and then we specify the time doing one plus the the year uh so to basically it's better if i run this thing so we can see what's happened doing this one plus year minus uh, minus minimum uh of the year so basically we have a list of numbers that goes from one to 21 which are the number of years uh, and they are connected with the uh, the rest of the data so because this is the okay so you see uh, so we have the county the year the number of cases the expected cases the radius the id area the ID area one and the ID time. So basically each year for each county. Yeah, because it was all the right. So this is what we need. And then we put this ID area in the model because we are focusing on where uh, this, this um, case is. Um, can can be located so the the model is a bayesian model and we use this uh, graph element instead of uh, uh, having data okay this is our formula so basically we have the cases on this uh, uh, this is um, Okay, so basically we use the area and the area one. Okay, so now and the time. Now it's a bit like uh, more uh, this uh, easy easy to see uh, because this is typical uh, of this type of model. So you use the function of the elements and then the function of the other elements uh, and they interact with each other. So you use the formula inside the inla function 
and it is a family, uh, it's a Poisson model uh, with in the data, D and the expected values. And then you set this uh, option control predictors to, to have the predictors. Okay. So, it's, still too, it's still pretty quick. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, I'm, I'm always a bit lost in the, um, in the F. Uh, I mean, they describe it well in the book, but uh, without the book, I will be lost. Like, I know the first F is the, spe uh, the, the conditional autoregressive model on the graph, the spatial effect, random effect. And the second, they have like a time effect that's fixed and then uh, that's random and then uh, fix a defect on IDTM. So I will, uh, yeah, it's, I get it, but like, uh, I mean, I got it with the read of the book, but I will not know if I will be able to do it without the book. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, uh -oh. Yeah, geez. Basically, uh, yeah, you're right, but, we did the theory of this uh, F. Yeah, this this was already done. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, basically, it's a way. It's it's the way in la uh, allows you to use the uh, predictor within the formula. So you can specify uh, a different model for instead of like specifying uh, instead of like making uh, the splines the polynomials. Yeah. Or for uh, a predictor uh, in particular, or all the predictors, you can specify a particular trend for the predictor. So in this case, we can specify a type of model. Uh, yeah. No, yeah. The, the first F, I understand the second one, for example, like mm -hmm. ID area one is basically ID area, but it still needs to be separate. So I think uh, they do it because sometimes it's not the case. Like sometimes, like you know, the ID era of time is not exactly the same uh, of the space. But I don't know. You know, in in this example, they are the same. Like the county doesn't move, but it could be changed. I imagine, like if, for example, the county move in time. But yeah, like for th this, if I do not have the book, I will fail it. I think. I think that uh, you need two separate back, uh, predictors for using two models, two types. Two, so, so we are basically using the ID area. Yeah. Okay. But one time as a BM, B1M, uh, so a Bayesian model uh, within the graph. And uh, the second time with the ID time uh, with uh, independent identical distributed. Normal. Yeah. yeah. And we still have an ID time as um, not uh, a random effect, but at a fixed effect. Exactly. Is... Yeah, exactly. But yeah, yeah, I'm not saying like it's complicated. I'm saying like I will need to practice. <laughs> OK. So far, so good. Working. Uh, so yeah. there you go. So this is the outcome. Uh, there is the, the entire specification here of so the formula, uh, the quantiles, the offset, and so all the other things, and time used, running, etc. So this is what is. Uh, this is the in lab function. So then you don't need just the data, but then you need to specify. That's why you have a vector, a separate vector for expected values, because then you need to use it. Yeah, we also like uh, uh, that stuff, like was like also disturbing me. We also use penalized uh, complex priors, you know, PC. So we do not need to set priors. This is, you know, the, the priors like by default in INLA are these PC priors. Mm -hmm. So 
I mean, some people will say not like it, some others will like it. I, uh, I'm not enough uh, smart or knowledgeable to know <laughs> what, what, what good it is. But yeah, if you compare, like, for example, classical Bayesian, usually, like, they need to set up your priors. But here, like, you use these PC priors. Okay. I don't know, it's probably right it somewhere, but yeah. Then, then we can add the relative risk. Uh, so with this uh, to the, 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 the model output because this stress has uh, quite few elements inside yeah <laughs> so summary fixed summary uh, linear combination summary linear combination derived and uh, you know M link, uh, summary linear predictor, uh, summary fitted values, summary upper parameters, internal summary. So uh, now we are looking at summary fitted values and we search for the mean and then for the 25th quantile and the 97.5 uh, quantile. To have this uh, um, done. So then, what we have this map simple feature. So what we yeah. used was not a map simple feature. So we use the map. Uh, the, this one here is not the map simple feature. Um, this is a special a special polygon data frame, the things that we use inside the poly to neighbor. Now we use the uh, map simple feature on D, and then we merge it by name a year and county and year. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we use this to do this nice plot. And now I don't see much difference. A bit more like in the bottom, I feel like, like if you check like the other previous uh, map, like, uh, you know, like before you just have the cluster. I mean, I think. Uh, yeah, it's it's it it kind of create more like cases uh, around the first cases you have like if you go higher like on um, your first graph I don't remember when it was like and uh, yeah yeah you see like it it was less it was uh, more separated like if you go here I don't remember what it was yeah yeah that's um no, a bit higher some... just I think oh. this is higher higher okay yeah, this one see. It's it's it here yeah, like in nineteen eighty three for example you just have few cases but not on the neighborhood and if you go down now I think you have more like uh, the model produce you more okay I mean display you maybe like hopefully are closer to reality by like taking into account like see the autocorrelation so it's less strong on one case but it's more sp uh, spread I feel could be wrong but this is all I. I see it. Yeah, yeah. So in 1983, like this county is less red, but the county, uh, the county around it are more reddish. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like shrink the extreme, but like the others that are not, uh, that are around still take information from it. So they are more reddish. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's make, I make myself clear. Yeah, yeah. No, I was looking at this 82 and 83. Yeah. which they on on the observed data they had the clear uh, red points uh, while in the forecasting results that there's no elements of that kind so yeah basically like what the model is is like it, sh it shrink extreme value to the mean so you have less extreme value but the value where you have less information, they take it from around it. So mm -hmm. 
well, the cases was you have a still extreme value, it's still around it, take like, you know, in, increase the relative rate, I think. This is how I will interpret it, but could be wrong. Yeah, yeah, no, I agree. Okay, so we, uh, I think the, this is the, uh, this is all for the chapter. Yeah, just a animation. Uh, yeah, the, here is uh, the animation, which is, uh, um, it requires me to, uh, in, wasn't working. Then he said that I missed the package. Uh, so I had to install an extra package, which wasn't mentioned. But then uh, uh, let's see if we save it somehow. No. Okay. So then I saw the, the, that package and um, he's been able to, to make the animation. In fact, it's here, I save it, but now it's yeah. like a, a bit, uh, there you go. Yeah. Like immense, five, yeah. one megabyte. Maybe we'll not upload that to the GitHub yeah, repo. No. <laughs> I don't think. Okay, uh, if we go, uh, uh, back to uh, the uh, the notes and the, the, the chapter, I think it's... Uh, uh, yeah, I, I think we're good. Like, I mean, we do, it's not like we, we're more like repeating what we have learned. And I think we added more element to represent data, which I like it. It was just like, um, you know, more like, uh, we added the time and the time, uh, well, I can't say like it's a good way or bad way, like I'm just learning it. So uh, this is a way to add at times and yeah. This is the special heavy uh, yeah. app. Uh, as you can see, this this one here. Uh, we can even uh, run a shine app. No, it's in fish. No. I'm on it. Maybe like we have some links somewhere like to test it. Uh, And the package vignettes, maybe. Uh -uh. Okay, so basically you can see it. Uh, that you can, uh, uh, you have a date range that you can change, oh, yeah. uh, the type of analysis. Uh, then you have some uh, like tabs to see what's up. And this is a demo showing you how to use it. Um, and it contains uh, data sets, so we just use it. Yeah, I, I, I can't find the, the Chinese app, but uh, yeah, we'll check it. Yeah. Because also, like, it's in Ohio, so I should definitely play and see, like, oh, how dangerous <laughs> my life is. It should be here, you know, because... Oh, uh, no, I, I see it. I think I see where you, you have, like, here, data from here. Uh, Running example, it's in software. Um, no, you need to install R apparently. It's it's not running on the web like. Oh, oh here. I, I found it. I found it. I will I will send I will send the like on the yeah, 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 on yeah. the chat. Let me let me do it here. I done yeah. it. It it works. Okay. You, you can go. like upload shape. Oh, that's nice. So it's cool. And play with data and select. That's cool. Uh -huh. You can upload your data. Uh, how can we do to use the, the data that she got in the in the package? Sure. Can we, uh, bro? I'm, I'm trying also. Because the package already provides some. Um, yeah, but I, uh, we need to. Uh, we need like to. You need, you need shape five, so you need, will need like to uh, convert the data from the special AP to shape five. Uh -huh. Then you will need like to. Um, apparently, you need the shape file. Then you need the CSV file. And then you need like to. But that's cool. Yeah, yeah. I will play with it a bit. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks a lot, Federica. It was cool Thank and nice. You. And the, that this is cool that you also like try like the another approach, like doing it. 
So we can see like both we are doing. I'm still like learning high flow, but uh, we are here for that. So, so what's happened next next time? Like, let me check uh, first. I think I am the one presenting. Oh, geostatistic. Let me check. Yep, I will me. Yes. Uh, I guess I will do like the, the one that's, uh, but also congratulations, we are in the middle. <laughs> I counted like, uh, uh, we have, because we have done the 11 one. So we are like close to the middle. So we'll basically like end it like, um, close to the next next year at the beginning on February, we complete this one. So congratulations, everyone. I think like, yeah, this is cool. I, I, I totally agree with you, Federica. Like sometimes like the book is a bit hard because also you have to figure what package wasn't included and you have to install all of them. And this is a bit tough sometimes, I feel, but yeah. So congratulations, everyone. Um, yeah. So see you uh, next week, like, uh, yes, uh, next week, uh, okay, me. so but I'll see you next week. And okay, for yes. the people that I meet in another book club, we'll see you in the another book club. <laughs> <laughs> bye, see everyone. you next week, bye. Bye, thanks, Monica, for doing it. Bye.